Hello, welcome to another episode of Thy Truth. You no longer talk to each other as you used to. If yes, how do you get back on track? Is it possible to get back on track? I'll share seven tips and how I think you might be able to get back on track. Hello, welcome to another episode of Thy Truth. Finding your truth with Ifemena. Is it possible to get back on track? How do you get things back on track? Number one, the first step is to recognize the lack of communication, is to recognize that there is a problem, is to recognize that there's wahala in the relationship. By wahala, I mean problem. Number two, avoid brushing things under the carpet if you ignore the issues with time it builds up to something bigger and i feel this is something i used to do i i mean i'm learning things happen and you don't want to face it you it's not like you can't be bothered facing it it's just you you don't you only you only want the good stuff, right? You don't want to face it, so you just sweep it under the rug or under the carpet and hope that it disappears. But those little things you keep sweeping under the carpet turns into one pile of dirt, and that's um, that's not healthy in any relationship. Number three, personally processing um, your feelings or personally process your feelings before bringing it up. And um, what I mean is, for instance, personally, if I'm angry, if I am emotional, I find it difficult to communicate. So. I'd rather control my emotions first before communicating. So that's what I mean by processing your feelings before communicating. That way it makes it easier to spell out, you know, what what it's going on or how you feel. And um, yeah, that helps. Instead of communicating in the heat of the moment while you're upset and uneasy and angry. Number four, there's no point arguing or yelling. I mean, arguing in a relationship is normal, I guess. I think. <laughs> um, yeah, it is normal to argue. And, um, but put this at the back of your mind it's not a competition on who's right or who, who's wrong actually it's better to actively listen you know try to understand the other person's point of view why how does this person feel why is the person acting the way they're you know they're acting or put yourself in the third person as i always say listen and understand number five avoid the silent treatment i know this is so me i'm like i said this is a process i'm still learning i discovered that or i find out that i'm lost you know and i kind of expect the person or my partner to find me now expecting your partner to know what what they've done wrong is some sometimes pointless it's totally pointless because i mean you can't you know shut them out expect that they would know how to find you or how to navigate the whole issue it, it doesn't help anyone you need to spell it out you need to communicate it to them do not assume that they know that they've crossed a boundary. Number six, ghosting 
or stonewalling or walking away during an argument it just leaves conflicts unresolved I mean personally I, I know I can get overwhelmed um, in an argument or in a conflict but explaining that you need a moment away or you know like a timeout is better than just you know storming out walking away it never resolves anything number seven finding or creating the right time to have certain conversations is important there's sometimes you're not in the right frame of mind or in the right headspace to deal with certain issues I think that when you can find or create that time to talk about certain things it helps to make communication uh, or communicating with your partner easier so yes it's um, it's not always easy to communicate I know but if not handled properly it could open the door to misunderstandings it could um, create distance between the two of you or the both of you and you could create more issues in a relationship and then it leads to you asking or saying we don't talk anymore why don't we talk anymore so we all make mistakes no one's above mistake forgive yes talk about these issues forgive and learn from it if you're both honest about working on it or working on your relationship and willing to work on it or at it, it is possible to get back on track. Meet you again at another episode of Die True. Finding your truth with Ifemena. Mm-hmm.